this is an image um, of the rocky outcrop, which I think is is being used synonymously with the term Yellowknife Bay. Um, and I looked at this one when I was doing the machinery video, doing some research for that. And I remember looking at that rock straight ahead, this one here, and I'm just thinking, well, what are the experts at NASA telling NASA about these rocks? Because that ain't no rock. And the re <laughs> you know, if, if that was a, a, a Hollywood prop for a rock, it wouldn't even work at night for me. Just take a good look at it. If you're looking closely, you can actually see that it's like a canvas and it's got like rope around it. You see it? Don't believe me just yet, I'll, I'll prove it to you. All around you can see these lines and down here it's actually broken off and come away the the canvas or tarpaulin or whatever it is. Um, I'm not sure what it is yet but I'm going to prove to you that it's a covering. Let's go to another image. This if you remember is where I did the machinery uh, video um, just next to the image I've just shown you and what I noticed in this one I did point out to you that there was some rope or cable going through the rock there. Well I couldn't understand why you would want cable or rope actually going through a rock because you couldn't haul any goods up there could you? Um, and the same applies with the rope down here, there you can see um, where it would be attached to and it would be pulled up by I assume this tool here which as you can see there's a chain going down the hole and what is that for? Well see there's another hole coming out of the rock coming down to here but over this rock you can see that there is like rope that looks like netting you see it? all over now I'm just guessing here but I think that the rope would be passed over the rock and it will be pulled underneath the rock and tightened by this machine at the top this machine here um, and it could be I mean you've got a hook there look I'll show you another hook later but you can see the cable coming down here And all of these, these markings that you see across the rock are actually ancient um, ropes tying a cover over, um, I think possibly storage or habitation. And if you look down there, you can actually see it goes under the rock. You can see two cables going there, you can see another attachment there, you can see more cable here and there. And it goes on and on. On this picture by the way I just did just the contrast a little just so that I can show you these features. Um, see you can see a cable going over there rope whatever you want to call it now don't believe me yet I'm going to prove to you that that is the case and that is what has been happening here so what we're seeing is not necessarily real let's just go to another image just to remind you of that ugly rock we saw see it now that is a large structure there 
could be a habitat or it could be machinery, I don't know. Um, but the adjacent rocks as well are also covered, as you can see, for some reason. Okay, so this is another NASA image in the same area. Um, and what I'd like to show you is down here, um, all of this region, I believe, is um, underground facilities, storage, habitats. Um, I have no idea. We've yet to find that out. But let me just prove to you my theory. If we look down at these rocks, you can actually see, you can see the rope and that they've been tied in a sort of net fashion. This is how fishermen would make their nets. You see it? And this one is actually up in the air there. It's open underneath. And you can see artifacts down here. I can see a few things there. See these things here? But look at this. This one didn't work. Can you see? The rope everywhere. This is all open. And in fact, um, if you look at it from there, you can see quite clearly this is all manufactured. It's been put made like that. It's a huge, huge canvas. And this one, if you think of a hot air balloon, look at the shape of that. I know it's open there now. This, for some reason, didn't um, work or it's been damaged. It comes down to this point here. And you see that section there? There's an opening there. And that is why I think all of those rocks that we've seen, especially the ugly one, are not real. They're covering habitats, machinery, bunkers, I don't know. Have a close look. Can you see it? <laughs> That was really bugging me, and I've actually cracked it. <laughs> so I think, NASA, you need to take a second look at these rocks that you're seeing, um, because they ain't rocks at all, some of them. And if you look around the areas where these habitats are and, and storage facilities, whatever they are, you will see holes in the ground, here, there and everywhere. Um, which is obviously ventilation for whatever's underneath. Now, <clears throat> added to that, this one here, I wondered why they would want to blow it up like that. Well, maybe they've got some sort of um, material that once it's blown up, it will stay in that position. It just needs to be tied down. Hence, all of this. Um, and it dawned on me in the inflatable video that I did, I found an inflatable which looks similar to this. Let me show you. This is the part of Vienna Knife Bay um, that I did, that I found the inflatable. Um, and it's just lying on a rock. Um, there, see? Just here. And I remember at the time wondering what could that possibly be for? But you can see this end piece is similar to the piece that I'm just showing you now in the, the side there. Um, so that is what it's for. 
think I'm right. Because even when I was looking in this area and doing that video, I noticed that there were a lot of what I thought was were fishing nets. But you can see down here, see all this? And then I thought, well, how, how do they inflate something like that? And it dawned on me that in this area, I spotted something which I didn't use in my video. Something that looks um, remarkably like a gas canister. Um, <laughs> and that is just there. You see that? <laughs> so, okay, so let's go back to the ugly rock. So, NASA, <coughs> this, you can tell your geologists, <laughs> is not a rock. It's covered, and you can see the ties, and they carry on over here over there, over the top of here. So there you have it. Um, we started with an ugly rock that didn't look like a rock we found the reason for that it's not a rock it's covered and there are lots of rocks just like that and the particular one at the, on the top picture on the screen at the moment i think nasa could just go along and peek underneath it and see what's there um, or even just pull the canvas away um, i'm sure it's got the ability to do that um, and let us all know what's under there. Th there may be technology there, um, habitats, who knows? But I can assure you that there are other things as well that NASA doesn't know about. Um, things aren't quite what they seem on Mars, and I'm going to be going into that in a lot more detail in the next video. Thank you very much for watching, and... If you don't already, please subscribe. See you soon.